go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon from whichever part of the country you are joining in. Welcome to IIU International Internship University. And today I am your guest speaker or the international speaker. My name is Sonu Singh and we will be talking about a very important topic or a subject which I'm sure you all must be interested to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, from whichever area you are joining in, from whichever location you are joining in. It's my pleasure to be here on this esteemed platform, to be their guest speaker and an expert speaker and be able to share my knowledge and my experience with you all. So good evening and welcome to this Facebook live session today, where I'll be taking you through across certain topics which are really important in our daily life wherein we want to excel and grow as a human being in our professional and our personal careers. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, let's go ahead with the presentation. If you are able to view the presentation clearly, and if you are able to hear me loud and clear in your comment box, please, you can type in yes, no, whatever is your situation. If you can hear me, if you can listen to me, I'll be checking all your messages. I'll be checking all your uh, comments over there so please put in all your comments in the live in the chat box down in the comment box too and you can also put a question to me at the end of the session so let's begin international internship university is of course a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation which is the most valuable and trusted worldwide and well reputed in delivering innovative programs globally it is a trusted name for quality training programs and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the globe and i'm sure you all are joining us with this perspective with this understanding that you will get value out of this live session that you will be joining in I'm, and i'm sure iiu is doing wonderful wonderful job in adding value to your life in a short span of time iiu has spread its wings in 195 countries and six continents under the strong leadership of its visionary founder mr piyush panditso a committed and inspiring social activist a passionate educationist from the last two decades providing education to students from various social and cultural backgrounds. So this is all about IIU and I'm sure you all have been associated with IIU since long and you are benefiting from it and you will benefit from this particular session too. So do not leave the session till the end. Stay here, stay tuned with us and if Take down notes as much as possible. Take down your comments, your notes, your thoughts, your questions, and I'm sure it will help you in the going ahead. So today we'll be doing 10 soft skills to skyrocket your career in 2023. Welcome to the world of soft skills. And these 10 soft skills, when you go through them, when I actually present to you these 10 soft skills, you might see and say, oh, I knew this. Oh, I have it in me, but are you using it to full potential? Are you doing that? Comment yes or no. Are you aware of all the soft skills that you have within you? Comment a yes or a no in the chat box right now. Comment right now. Comment if you know which soft skills, which technology, which uh, things are helping you grow in your career, please comment in the live session right now. Kindly comment on the comment box. Please comment on the comment box. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for being so supportive. Thank you for being so energetic. Uh, if you are able to listen to me from any part of this world, I'm sure you will gain a lot of inside a lot of uh, you know knowledge today with this topic over here so about me my name is sonu singh i'm the co-founder and lead trainer of soulful impressions i am the training partner in soft skill and image management it's a little just about me it's a little introduction to 
tell you why you should be listening to me, by the way. Since 2019, I have been uh, training almost 4,300 individuals in trainings across corporates, entrepreneurs, students, working professional. We have added experience in conducting periodic audit programs like Train the Trainer. Our specialization lies in personality, body language, soft skill, personal grooming, behavioral skills, and much, much more. I'm an international certified image consultant and a soft skill trainer. I have 10 years of work experience in the human resource field, wherein hiring, training, or uh, induction of producing or you know nurturing talent has been my forte i have been fortunate to work in india and across the globe with some of the big brands that you might be uh, known of like mr india hdfc bank universities colleges and of course getting associated with iiu is another feather on the cap we take pride in our passion to transform people so this is a little just a little introduction about me you can find me on linkedin facebook instagram wherever you search you can have a social presence of mine. You can check my uh, social media profile to understand more about me and know more about me. Okay. So please, uh, please, please write down uh, if you have any question, if you have anything that you want to ask me, if you want to know any question, please, please, please write down in the comment box in the Facebook live session. I I'm checking my live too, so I can get all your questions and I can answer them at the end. Uh, if you are joining in from whichever country, you can also mention that along with your name and which country you are joining in. That will give another boost to know, okay, you are listening from this country, right? So be engaging, be entertaining so that I can ask you more questions and we can go ahead with lots of interaction during the course. So now we all want to be successful, correct? We all want to be successful and there are only two things which makes us successful. So what is those two things that make success essentials? Now, the success essentials are, number one, getting a chance. How will you become successful? Once you get a chance, right? And number two is when you perform on that chance. So first thing, when you get a chance to perform, and then you perform on that chance. These are the only two essentials if you want to be successful in your life. And I'm sure each one of you, I mean, almost all of you who have been joining in such huge number, you all must be aware that you all want to be successful. You want to be successful in your professional life, in your personal life, in your careers, in your families, everywhere you want to be successful. And for that, you need a chance. So let's understand, how do you get a chance? So the first thing that you have to do to get a chance is build a personal brand and create a first impression on the person or the you know people who will give you that chance. So building a personal brand and creating a first impression is something which will give you a chance, right? Now, once you have that chance in your hand, once you have that chance in your hand, now it's your turn to perform. So how will you perform on getting that chance? You will perform based on your soft skills and your hard skills. Now, how? what is soft skills? What is hard skills? We will be going through that also in the coming slides. And you will understand uh, how can you become better in every skill and why I'm focusing more on the softer skills rather than on your hard skills, okay? So we have to build a personal brand for that matter wherein we, people see us, people notice us, we create a first impression on the mind of the other person so that they have us in our mind and whenever that chance comes, the chance comes to us. And once it's there, bang on, you have to perform, you have to beat it, right? So this is what I mean by hard skills. And this is what I mean by soft skills. To make it very, very simple, hard skills are your knowledge, are your certificates, are your experience, okay? Are your degrees, are your life experiences that you have. So hard skills can be referred to as teachable skills or job specific abilities that can be quantified or measured. So your Degrees can be quantified. You got a you know BSA degree or a BTEC degree or a BCom degree or a or a computer degree or a any kind of a degree. Okay, you are a science, commerce, arts, or liberal arts or law student, whatever you are. So your hard skills are these: your degrees, your knowledge, uh, the book knowledge that you have, 
the books that you study, the content that you study, even today that you are studying and you're listening to this comes in your hard skills, right? They can be quantified when you get a certificate, when you get a degree, they are quantified. Now, soft skills, on the other hand, refer to an individual's social ability and how they relate and interact with other people. Is it clear? So hard skills are more of technical skills or on the job kind of a skill. Softer skills are more of people skills or they are more of uh, your interpersonal skills or people skills through which you can interact with others. Remember in this world, we might be going under artificial intelligence. We might be, you know, building lots of robots, but still at the end, we are interacting with humans. We are interacting with people. We get the work done from people. We get work from people. We live with people. We live with humans. We don't live with machines. We don't live with robots. So that is why it has been said that, and it's a proven research. If you go online and check, it's a proven research that conducted by Harvard University, the Carnage Foundation and Stanford Research Center has concluded that 85% of job success. So if you're in a job, in a business, in a freelancing kind of a work environment, you're a content creator, you might be anybody. You might be a student, you might be a professional, you might be a, you know, a at home a person, you might be anyone. Whatever job you are doing, it can be as simple as, as minute as a, you know, job wherein you are driving a car. So you can be a taxi driver or you can be anybody. 85% of your job success comes from well-developed soft skills and people skills. And only 15% of job success comes from your technical skills and the knowledge that is your hard skills. So that's how important soft skills are. If you think that uh, I am a chartered accountant and uh, or I am a driver, so I just need to know how to drive the car or I'm a chartered accountant and I just need to know how to manage the client's account. However, that initial thing, you know, of getting a work or getting a job or uh, picking up some few people from here to there, those initial few years, only your hard skills will help. But how can you sustain in the market? How can you make a value? How can you add value to people? How can you gain success year on year? will actually depend on your soft skill as to how do you handle people? How do you interact with them? How do you mingle with them? How do you get your job done? How, what kind of relationship are you building will actually have a greater say in your success than your hard skills. So remember this always. So just getting degrees and knowledge will not help you. You have to also develop your softer skills, your people skills to get the required success in your job. Now, what is first impression? Okay, that is the way you get a chance, right? What is first impression? Of course, you will say the first time that I meet a person, the kind of uh, judgment that I make or an impression that I make in my mind. Yes, it's true. So first impression is actually every individual. So when I switched on my camera and I went live on Facebook, all of you who are seeing me, even before I started talking with the sheer vision of mine okay the sheer presence of mine on the screen you might have formed an image about me that what kind of a person I am and that's okay it's normal it's natural everybody does that you are being judged and people are judging you impressions are formed always now remember it's not that impressions are formed only at the first meeting if you're meeting that person for the second time third time you might be knowing him from 10 years, 15 years, every single time you meet a person, the situation might be different, the context might be different, the place might be different, or the occasion might be different. So every time that you meet somebody, you actually form an impression. So you project an image based on which people form an impression in their mind. And that is formed within a minuscule within three to 30 seconds of meeting him or her. So it does not take a minute or an hour. It's just a snap thing that we do. It's just a three to 30 seconds that we take, okay? Now I want you all to do a little uh, activity with me wherein you can just write the first time you saw me on the screen, what was your first impression? 
okay the first time you logged in you might be logging in right now you had might be logging in since the beginning you are you might log in you might be logging in right now after 5 10 minutes of the session has started so just write what was your first impression about me quickly i want a engagement from your end so let's see how can we uh, make a difference in this learning okay thank you thank you watching live from lagos nigeria uh, i'm getting from different places you are joining in thank you so much it's like a pleasure for me for uh, being on this platform and talking to you all okay great so let's go ahead now few seconds for first impression few seconds to success yes few seconds to first impression and few seconds to success that is how you get a chance when you create a positive first impression on people so in few seconds people decide everything about you they decide your personality authority intelligence financial success trustworthiness and even candidature for a job or a promotion so if you are somebody who is looking out for a new promotion or looking out for a career change or a new job remember your first impression will give you that required success in your life okay so these are everything that a person judges about you when he or she meets you for the first time and that is why we say if you need to do an image management every time that you want to get success in your life so if you want to have greater success if you want to have greater uh, accolades in life if you want to really make an impression on people then you need to manage your image image is what image is your own perception about you that you make others think about you so if you think that i am smart i am confident you will behave like that you will dress like that you will speak like that and automatically people will start imagining you as a confident trustworthy person but if you only think that you are not that confident you are under confident you don't know uh, you you have so much of self doubt within yourself the image that you will start portraying in the way you behave talk and present yourself people will also not take you seriously so image management is not a one day thing it's not a one day thing it's actually you in the minds of others so how are you portraying yourself in the minds of others will be of the most important question that you need to answer it's an ongoing process of evaluating and controlling the impact of your appearance first on yourself quote it it's an ongoing process of evaluating and controlling the impact of your appearance or behavior or communication or thought process first on yourself and then on others for the achievement of your goals so if your goal is to grab that important uh, client if your goal is to grab that six figure salary or an eight figure salary if your goal is to grab that important uh, you know uh, money if you are uh, that you have should have this important business or client or in your kitty then first you need to believe in your own capabilities first you need to evaluate your own self and manage your own image within you and then on the others correct okay so what are the soft skills we been talking about soft skills soft skills soft skills so as i already told you soft skills is all about being you know able to handle people soft skills is all about being able to interact with humans and get your job done so as a fresher when you enter any company okay uh, for the first one or two years you just apply your knowledge and your hard skills to do understand and learn that job well you apply for 2 years you apply all your technical skills all your knowledge all your college degrees and everything to understand how to do that job now when you have known how to do that job when you know how that job is to be done in the next 2 to 3 years you have to start working on developing your soft skills which will help you eventually to get that success promotion and how can you do this job continuously and how can you evolve on this job okay so that is what soft skills is all about and today i'll be talking about almost 10 skills that you need to master yes 10 skills that you need to master so our strategy would be simple okay it's a simple strategy that you need to follow 
I'll be giving you an acronym through which you will be able to remember all these 10 skills. And you have to go one by one. It's not that all the 10 you will start understanding at day one. No, it's not possible. It's not human. Okay. You have to work one by one, day by day on one skill, master that skill, and then go to the next skill. There are certain skills which you are, which are interlinked. So once you master that, the others get mastered as well. But however, you have to really work on mastering each and every skill at the slower pace. Don't try to master on parallel three to four skills. Let's keep the strategy simpler. So it is said that simpler the strategy, effective is the implementation. So if you complex your strategy, then the implementation becomes difficult. So please keep it as simple as possible. And remember, our goal is to create a first impression, which is so everlasting that you get the chance and then you perform on that chance flawlessly. Because all we want is success in the coming new year. Now, it's not that these skills will be used only in the 2023. It's like these skills have been always important in our career, in our professional goals. But now they are more important with the competition rising, with the kind of things happening in the job market around, with the kind of layoffs and you know all the, all the negative news is there. These skills have become all the more important for you to get your next job promotion or success. Everybody has the knowledge. Everybody has a degree. Everybody has that experience. So what will differentiate you from those 10 candidates is your soft skills. That should be your strategy. Remember for every job that you apply or every promotion that you are looking forward to, every client that you are targeting, there are 10 other people who are competing with you. Yes, true. It's a proven fact. For any job, any promotion, any client, any success, there are 10 other people competing you. And in that pyramid of success, the more you go on the top, the lesser the space becomes. At the base, we have so many people. So promotions and things are easier. But as you climb up the ladder of success, on the top, at the pinnacle, the space is very little. Thus, there are very little people who can go there. And if you want to be there at the pinnacle of success, then you have to have to master these skills. And set aside yourself from the crowd. Stand out from the crowd so that you are able to focus. You are limelighted and you are able to achieve whatever you have thought about. Okay, the strategy is simple. Take a pen and paper. Right, take a pen and paper and write down this acronym. This acronym is called six C's and PTML. Six C's and PTML. Like HTML. Just replace H with P. So that will be easily remembered by you. Six C's and PTML. Now let's see one by one, what are these six C's and PTML that you need to master to gain that success in your life. Okay. So the first C, the first C is called communication. Yes. The first C is called communication. And you might think, I am communicating really well. I am good in English or I am good in the language that I am great at. Okay, that language that I'm spoken. So any part of country that you are joining in, be it Nigeria, be it any part of the continent that you are joining in from, be it India, Asia, Nigeria, Tajikistan. I see so many people joining in from such different locations. Uh, thank you, Egypt. Beautiful land of pyramid. Thank you so much for joining in. Okay. So you might be thinking that I know my language really well. But communication is not language. Communication does not mean knowing a particular language or being able to speak in a particular language. Okay. If my pace is okay with you, uh, please write it down in the comment box. Okay. If you think that I'm going fast or you're not able to understand my uh, words or language, do also mention that, right? Okay, great. So the first thing is communication. And communication is not knowing a language. Communication means you are able to express 
your thoughts in the same manner as the person in front is able to decode it. So when whatever thoughts and ideas or you know words you have in your head, in your mind, when you are able to express it in the same way and the person who is listening to you is able to understand it in the exact same way that you wanted him to understand, that is when communication is complete. And communication does not mean that you have to know a particular language. You can communicate even without speaking anything, right? People do communicate in very different languages, maybe sign language or visual language or any other language. So we have visual language, we have written language, or oh, sorry, we have visual communication, written communication, oral communication, uh, and all these communication are forms in which we are speaking, correct? Um, Okay, so when you are able to speak in that same language or in the same method or your, your ideas goes out to the other person the same way that he's able to understand. So if I am able to convince and express my thoughts and ideas to you in the same way that you are understanding and the encoding and decoding is exactly the same is when communication has happened. And you are only speaking. So speaking is different talking is different. We have been speaking and talking since our childhood. But you know, there are times when people speak pages and pages and length and length. You know, they are speaking at length and breadth. But you as an audience might not be understanding even a single word. But then there are certain things which are expressed in a foreign language, but you are able to understand it. Why? Because the communication in the first place has not happened. Even it is being talked in the same language that you understand. But in the second phase, what is happening, even if you don't understand the language, the emotions attached, the expressions given, the uh, tonation of the voice used, okay, is making you understand the language really well. So that is how communication is so effective. And if you want to have greater success in life, then this is one skill which you should master. And that will only come with practice. So how do you practice communication? Number one thing, take a pen and paper and please write it down. The first thing that you need to do while practicing communication is knowing your why. Why are you speaking? Why are you communicating? Why are you speaking this thing? Why are you talking to this person even? What is your purpose of speaking? If you know your why, I think half of the things will become clear in your mind. The problem arises, miscommunication happens because we are not clear in our heads what do we want to say or why do we even want to say it. So number one, be clear with your objective or with your why. Second thing, have a proper structure as to what you are going to speak. So, you know, everything should have a beginning, an opening, a middle and an ending. So if you are clear with your structure, with your openers, with your middle matter, what you want to speak and how do you want to end that communication? Again, it gives you a clarity and a flow. Number three, check who is your audience. Do know a little about your audience as to what your audience is, what is the age group, which demographic they are coming from. Like for me, uh, you all are coming from various different backgrounds, but with one purpose to learn. Okay, you want to skyrocket your career. So you know, you want to know, understand these skills which you need to enhance. So that is my purpose that I had to express. But in the beginning, I started off by saying why you should be understanding this topic, why it is important to you. And then there's a structure to it. Okay, so number one, know your why. Number two, have a structure. Number three, know your audience. Number four, practice. Have a script and practice your communication. The more you practice, the more you master your script, the easier it becomes to you when you have to actually speak in your professional or your personal goals. So be it getting a new client, making that big presentation, or you know, or meeting a new vendor, or going and presenting in front of your boss or the boardroom, or even getting that life partner for you, or expressing your views and thoughts to your family, communication helps. So I'm emphasis, emphasizing 100 times, please be clear in your communication. The second thing is critical thinking. 
today the world is moving really very fast today we are we are actually moving at a pace wherein which is faster than your mind can think so if you are able to logically and critically think through all the situations and the problems without being so emotional or attaching too much of vanity to towards things it becomes an added advantage to your skill okay so communication critical thinking the third is collaboration i i apologize for the error in the spelling okay it's c it's b o r it's collaboration wherein you are working with people right you are working with people you are working with uh, humans you are working with uh, different kind of mental mentality okay so when you are working with different kind of people different kind of humans different kind of mentality different kind of attitudes how can you work collaborative how can you bring in the best in a collaborative method actually helps creativity now creativity does not mean you have to be an art student or a liberal science student or a liberal arts student or you know home science student creativity means how are you able to bring in fresh ideas and fresh thoughts in that existing job that you are doing creativity does not mean that you have to be a painter dancer singer film director or anything like that or a photographer to become creative even a hardcore professional working in corporates big corporates can be creative how by your ideas the new creative ways of solving a problem okay that is the way you will be able to more creative and add to the value or add to your position contextual intelligence now what is contextual intelligence today in the world of ai wherein we are going under meta we are having artificial intelligence machine learning at place having that intelligence to visualize the future okay having that understanding to really see and have a long term vision is what we call contextual intelligence cognitive flexibility this is more towards talking about how adaptable you are how adaptable you are to situations to places to people to the culture and overall to the work environment if you can show your adaptability if you can show your flexibility flexibility only does not mean that you get a flexible work from home or you know work from anywhere kind of a position flexibility means by brain by mind you are flexible enough adaptable enough cognitive means wherein your brain and the mind is flexible and adaptable enough to different things happening around you so right now you might be an era where we are where where we see a great transition in technology okay covid taught us a lot about how we can be adaptable to new things and learn new things so, so covid taught us about all these things correct so we as humans have that power to be adaptable and flexible in any situation utilize that don't be a rigid tree you know the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset is same like a tree so you are not a tree that you will be standing at one location and you cannot change be like that flowy river which can flow through places rocks dulations ups and downs to meet its final goal our final goal is to get success okay so these are the c's that you should be inculcating within you to develop what we call soft skills or people skills or you know, because all these requires to work with people communication critical thinking collaboration creativity contextual intelligence and cognitive flexibility so if you have mastered these six c's now let's see what is a ptml so the first p stands for problem solving we are too much into problem stating you know everybody knows the problem and if you are working with corporates and big giants over there what we are looking forward to what the corporate is looking forward to are not problem stators like people who come in and say boss this is a problem or so, xyz this is a problem statement that we are facing we are looking out for people who are problem solvers right wherein you can bring in your creativity you can bring in your critical thinking aspect and create a solve or solve the problem that the company the situation or you as a person are facing 
nobody is looking for cribbers everybody is looking for solutions so don't be a cribber don't be a problem statement stater in your journey of professionalism or even in your personal life for that matter don't be that be a problem solver who can bring in creative and innovative thoughts to solve any particular problem teamwork as i said collaboration is something that you need to really work upon today in the era of uh, freelancing or digital content creators collaboration is the only way to grow and teamwork when it comes to working with people in a team if you have the skills to understand team understand people understand the attitude of people working with you understand the flexibility as to how can you move around and make yourself visible in that team and also make a stand for yourself if you have that communication to be assertive if you have that power to voice your thoughts and ideas within a team and still take the team together you have teamwork alone you can definitely won you know if you are fighting alone you can you can win a fort but if you are fighting with a team you can win the country as a whole that is how powerful team is if you have a great team to work together the the work does not seem like work you get easy success decisions are faster okay you can act faster but if you don't have a team which is like going along together then everything falls apart so teamwork is another critical soft skill that you need to learn and master if you want to be successful in your life after teamwork is m we are left with only last two skills so we spoke about communication critical thinking collaboration creativity contextual intelligence because we are in a era of ai meta and all those aspects cognitive flexibility to understand and be adaptable in any given situation problem solving of course we all are looking forward to problem solvers today i am acting as a problem solver for you all wherein you want to get success in your career and you want to know which are those skills which can set me apart mention these skills while you give your interview or you are giving an interview for your promotion display these skills through your attitude and acts when you are in a company team again motivation or uh, remember motivation cannot come from outside you might be motivated by seeing certain videos and you know seeing certain uh, goals you uh, seeing certain ted talk or any kind of a motivation platform you can get motivated through those you can get motivation by seeing me or following me on social media but remember if that inner fire is not ignited within you to learn learn these skills or to get success or to be successful in your life i am sorry nobody can help you yes that's a proven fact if you are not ready to help yourself if you are not uh, ready to work on your own self if you are not ready to really stay motivated and go ahead and be a initiator or goal getter boss any kind of a support to you nothing is going to help you so motivation from your end is very very important and what people are looking forward to are creative positive and a motivated employee all corporates for that matter all corporates all big giants even if they are looking for a job like just a office help they are looking out for people who are self motivated happy positive in their mindset with because that you humans we humans create create the atmosphere of the place so if you if you are not motivated enough if you are cribbing if you have negative mindset then the whole culture and the atmosphere of the place gets affected so for that reason having a motivation to drive being an initiator you know you have to take initiatives to do certain job you have to be a self driven person rather than a push you should be working under a pull effect not a push effect so your goal should be so much so high and so aspirational that it pulls you to go up get up and do your job really well it should not be a push effect so don't go for a push effect always try to be a pull effect for everybody else to look up to you and work bingo you are the leader there and finally final final skill that you need to learn is leadership now you will tell me leadership has to come with position but i said no 
leadership does not have to come with position a leader is a person who can motivate others who can get the work done okay or who can so their own ideas and ideologies and thoughts in the other people's mind and they are followed okay there are n number of examples wherein leaders were made or born or leaders arose from nowhere there was no position there was no such benchmarking as a ceo of a company or a leader of a country and people you know followed and told them oh he's my leader no leadership does not come like that leadership comes when you are self motivated when you have a goal to achieve when you are creative when you are able to work with people and motivate them to do your job really well that is leadership even if you may be a you may be the mind you know you may be the smallest member of that team but yet if you are able to achieve something if you are able to motivate others by the work that you do or the kind of behavior that you show the kind of image that you present for yourself that can make you a leader a leader is somebody who allows you to be yourself does not force you to be somebody else okay so these are the 10 skills that you need to master one after the other to gain what we call professional success or personal success in your life and all these skills come with time experience and practice to to tell you these are skills these are skills and skills can be learned easily it's not hard it's not difficult to talk what you need is that one factor as to which skill am i lacking and then learn that thing so the what is the step that you should be doing so let me go back to the strategy again let me go back to the strategy again so your strategy should be you should have a pen and paper in your hand okay now state the goals that you want to achieve in your life at least two goal one personal goal and one professional goal take it written black and white on a paper okay make it written black and white on a paper don't think in your mind things evaporate you know when you are thinking in your mind after you sleep it evaporates it is it is proven that as a human brain we are not uh, accustomed to remember things so easily after a point of time it goes away it evaporates so don't make it evaporate write it down on a pen and paper you know like a pen and a paper make it right so that, that it stays it stays there and you are able to reflect and go back and see whenever you want to see it okay so write down your goals one personal one professional on each page now see to do the to achieve the professional goal what are the steps that you need to do and to achieve the personal goal what are the steps that you need to do then again see to achieve these steps what are the skills and the strength that you want as a human being okay go and write so you have a goal then you have written your steps so one step two step three step four step five step 10 steps whatever steps you have written and also write the milestone within how many months years weeks you are going to achieve that and to achieve that what are the steps you know what is the strength or the skill specific strength or skill that you need okay so write that now see which are the things you already have with skills you already have and which are the skills which are missing you will see it's 90% of the time the soft skills which are missing the hard skills the knowledge experience degree you have but what is missing is the soft skill and then what you need to do is start working on those skills it might not be that you are missing all the 10 skills that i've spoken about no there are 20 more skills which can be learned but then we have to focus on these 10 so see which are the skills you are missing and act accordingly same goes with your professional goals uh, when you have things written on a black and white it becomes much more clearer you can refer back you know so after learning one skill go refer back see with this skill are you able to achieve that step or not come back again do a review of it then go to the next skill then go to the next skill so that is how you should be going step by step in learning all these 10 skills that can help you skyrocket your career in the coming few years 
Correct. Now that was all about the skills that you need. What now next is need is attitude. If you have the attitude, if you have the attitude to learn, to grow, to make the maximum out of your life, then these skills will come naturally to you. Okay. So what we are doing at IIU here is making you equipped with all the required skills that you need, all the learnings that you need to become effective in your coming future. Okay, if you want to have success, if you want to have personal goals, if you have certain milestones to achieve in your life, then these are the things that you need to work upon. And remember, these skills will not walk and come to you. You have to walk and go to them. Right? So remember to master these skills, but whatever skills you already have, also master them. Strengthen your strength and work on your weakness. That is how you should be mastering your skills. So that was my time, my friends. If you have any particular question that you want to ask me, if, uh, please do ask me your questions. You can definitely uh, ask me on the Facebook Live. I am re I'm seeing your live right here. So all your questions can be answered. So please, uh, if you have any question, please put it up in the chat box, in the comment box. I'll be reading out the question and I'll be answering it to you right away. In case right now you don't have any question, you can uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. You can connect with me on any social media platform or you can email me your questions also, wherein I'll be putting up my email address. So my email address is this. So I have put it up in the chat box. That is my email address. You can put up your questions and I'll answer you via email. But if you want a live answer from me, please put up your questions right now and I will be happy to answer you. Uh, thank you, IIU, for giving me this opportunity. It was really wonderful. And I think I am right on my time. I have achieved my target. This is another skill that you should be learning. It's a bonus skill that I'll be teaching you today. That is called time management. So whatever time span you have been given to make a presentation or to a meeting, try to be within that time frame. Don't overshoot, overshoot your time or don't underplay your time also. So if you have 50 minutes, try to cover everything within 50 minutes. Don't go to 55 minutes too. Because remember, time is precious. Every individual's time is the most precious thing that they are giving it to you. And whatever time they are giving it to you, make it the most valuable time for them. It should not happen that they come to meet you or they come to listen to your presentation and they say, oh, what a waste of time. That should not be the case. So always value your time and other people's time. And remember, if you value time, time is going to value you. So manage your resources, manage yourself because you cannot manage time. There are only 24 hours. You cannot manage time. What you manage is your resources and your actions and yourself, your mindset. When you manage all these things, time automatically gets managed for you. Right. So please uh, thank you, Inga, for that lovely, lovely uh, compliment. I, I keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Please, if you have any questions, do ask me. Oh, and uh, remember to value your time. Time management is an important skill, too. So thank you, Igna. Thank you for your time and thank you for this live opportunity. Uh, I'm sure IIU was, uh, would be impacting lots and lots of lives in coming ahead in the future. And every skill that you all learn here, try to implement it. Try to implement it at present in your whatever job you are doing, whatever you know work you are doing, because only with implementation, you will be able to learn. Just by listening, you will just evaporate. Okay, so don't evaporate soak in the knowledge that you have like a sponge and uh, try to make the best impact of all the sessions that you will be getting here at IOU. This is Sonu Singh. I am from India. I live in Delhi, Gurgaon. And you can contact me on any of my LinkedIn profile. I will prefer LinkedIn profile because there I'm highly active. So you can contact me on my LinkedIn profile or you can also write to me on my email ID that is impressionsoulful at the rate 
gmail.com and I'll be happy to help you with all your questions and answers. Thank you. That was my time. And I'm. it was lovely speaking and connecting with all you members of IIU. And uh, it was great. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.